There's this big primary mirror in the back, which will reflect the light. 12-year-old Siddharth Patel has been mesmerized by the stars since he was five. Toy figures hint at his dreams. Yeah, uh, I really want to be an astronaut when I grow up because I really love space and I want to be in it too, right? Now from the ground, Siddharth has already begun his journey. Using telescopes, he captures high-quality images of celestial delights and posts them on his social media channels. I'm trying to get uh, the Jupiter uh, or Mars in the field of view of this. But it is this picture, taken with his mother's smartphone, that has garnered Siddharth worldwide attention in astronomy and photography circles. By manipulating image settings, he caught a passing comet streaking across the galaxy. And with just the phone, I was really amazed that I could capture the Milky Way in such great detail in the comet. So awesome, the photo won a People's Choice Award in an online contest by Dark Sky, a group with a mission to protect the planet from light pollution. It's a goal Siddharth shares, his award-winning photo offering perhaps the best example. Siddharth captured it in a rural area 30 kilometers outside of London, only one hour after city light pollution kibosh plans to see the same sky with a powerful telescope on his back deck. Them. So that's why I became a dark uh, advocate, so I can tell more people about this so that they can make a change. Siddharth's deep passion for deep space is self-driven. In fact, neither of his parents was interested in space until Siddharth's fascination blossomed. We know that this means a lot to him, so we, we try to support him. Though that support comes with hesitation amidst the realization that Siddharth at a young age already has some of the right stuff to achieve his dream of traveling into space. I'm definitely scared, actually, as a mom. <laughs> yeah, I really think that the astronaut goal is really going to happen. So really, the sky's the limit for you. Yeah. In London, Sean Irvin, CTV News.